Okay, we're back on. No, I think this was bought like 60 years ago. <laughs> okay, so we're back on here. Uh, did we get the answer here? Four point four four, four point four four oh four meters. Okay, others got that too. That seems quite high, huh? Even though this is a this is a half a meter, this is one meter. So you need one meter. You need four times that. Four, two, three, four. Quite high, like pretty high. Because there's friction here, there's friction here, there's friction there. Yeah, it kind of, I guess it makes sense. This setup that I've uh, put here closely resembles what's going on in this problem. You've got something going down. Friction is probably doing negative work along the incline. This one doesn't have the flat portion because immediately as it uh, comes down, it goes into the circular loop, right? So, and then friction is doing a lot work along the circular loop. And then as it ends, it goes up a little bit. So it's a little different than that. It goes up, and then I, I tie the spring over here. And you guys can one day, you guys are, are going to be engineers, design a roller coaster right like that. They come down, they go, then there's a spring that they hit, compress energy in the spring, then they go back. Then they go forward, then they go back, and then the ride should end somewhere here, you know. On this one, there's no other place it can end, you know, because it's not a flat road like this, you know. So it's always going to go, go, go. Eventually, it's got to end somewhere there. But you don't want it to do this. If you're designing this, you don't want it to go and then have it go and then fall here somewhere, you know. <laughs> so you gotta, that's the difficulty about designing that ride. Okay, so let's release this here. That's where the fun is, okay. Yeah, you don't want it doing that, right? You don't want them doing feeling that, you know. It gets sued, okay. Okay. What's the minimum height I need here without doing any calculations or math? Well, at least it's got to be more than this, of course, right? So it's got to be whatever this is. It's got to be a little more. In, the, in that one, how much more was it? If this, this one was one meter, it was four, four times more in that case. This one, four times more would make us way too much, you know? So I don't think it's going to be four times more. Oh, the other difference is this is a sphere too. So there's a little different physics going on here. So let's try here. Cool, you see? That's the run right there. <clears throat> so it looked like that one ran. Did I let it go somewhere here? So I could kind of lower it to find the minimum height. Okay, so you kind of see here what's going on. Where's the smaller sphere I have? This one does less damage. Nice, that one worked better. They go inside of that tunnel, <laughs> right? Right there, there's a, there's a good ride there for you. Money making, bit, <laughs> money making opportunity. <laughs> See how much fun physics is? <laughs> so the minimum V you need up here, the minimum V is square root of RG, always. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if there's friction, it doesn't matter if there's no friction, it's always square root of RG. But if there is friction, then you're going to have to put it up higher because friction is going to do negative work. You see? 
and the negative work on the left side of the equation goes to the right side of the equation and it makes the required height uh, even more, you see. <coughs> okay, so now we want to be able to answer the question the part B said, what if you make the height twice that required? Then what you're going to have is people are going to come down and the object here is going to have a much bigger velocity than uh, square root of RG, you know. And then it's going to go around nicely and comfortably. Then it's going to spring, it's going to squeeze that. It's going to squeeze that and then stop. Then it's going to, it should go back. So then let's answer part B and C. Okay, in part B then, we're doing the height that we're going to do is double that, right? So 8.88. We're going to do twice that minimum height required. Now we're going to ask, okay, how, what's the velocity going to be? So the equation that we're going to write up now is similar to the equation we just wrote. There's going to be uh, work of friction. Uh, there's going to be work of gravity plus work of friction plus work of friction uh, along the flat road. There's going to be work of friction along the circle. Let's, let's write it this way here, half the circle. And then there's going to be work of gravity along the half circle is going to equal half mv final squared. So work of gravity is going to be mgh. Two times nine times, nine, uh, times 8.8. .8. And then work of friction is going to be negative 0 0.3 times uh, mg cosine theta. times the height, oh, we could put cosine same, uh, same angle, times the height uh, 40, times the distance, which is going to be h over sine theta, right? So h over sine of 40. Then the work of friction along the flat road is going to be the same actually, that one doesn't change. So that one is minus uh, 0.2 times mg times the distance d. So mg times the distance d, and then the work along the half the circle also doesn't change. Minus 15 times pi times r equals half m v final squared. This time what we're doing is we're solving for v final. And everything else is uh, now known. There's a known quantity. This thing is known. This thing is known, except it's, uh, the height is 8.88. And everything else is known. And now we solve for what is the final velocity at the top. It should be, the answer you get should be greater than square root of RG, right? The square root of RG, that was V min, is the square root of half times 9.8. So the V min is a square root of 4.9, which is something like 2 something, approximately 2 point something something. So the answer you should get should be greater than 2. It's going to be greater than 2. Okay, this one was this one. This one was uh, this one was this one. This one was this one. Oh, the work of gravity, yeah. Minus uh, the work of gravity was what? Two times uh, nine point eight times uh, times the double the radius, which is one, right? So everything is minus, 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 minus. <coughs> 